This is where stuff gets really crazy, I think. So we understand what privacy is. If you were here the last time, I talked about privacy a little bit, a lot, maybe. Um, but how does this change in IoT? Because I think it changes. I think there's some new stuff that we should talk about that kind of piggybacks off the resiliency conversation. Right? Because the stuff's not resilient. Forget about like authentication. It doesn't matter. Right? Um, <clears throat> authentication has limited benefit to us right now as an access control because it's so abusable. You don't have to break it because you can just pretend to be somebody else. Right? You follow me? Right? So in IoT, that becomes really bad. Right? So check this out. One of the things that I think is going to be new is what people call, and I, I'm piggybacking on this, is not denial of service, it's denial of deniability. Think about this. Think about how ubiquitous your data is. Anybody use Dropbox? I love it. I use Google Drive. I use lots of things, right? Because they make my life easier. But where's my data at? I don't know. I don't care. That's why it's good. But why is it bad? Because I don't know. Right? Right? I'm relinquishing some measure of control in order to benefit from that abstraction, from that decoupling. Right? All right, so check this out. If IoT is here, right, and we're passively generating all this data, we're all here in this room right now, right, we all have classes at certain times on certain days, we drive a certain speed down a certain road, we have a certain heart rate at certain times, we brush our teeth and all this stuff, all this time, all this data is tracked, right, all this data is somewhere, it's stored, okay? How could you ever say that I wasn't there? How could you ever say, hey, this data, now I'm going to make that private. I don't want that anywhere else. Because once it's there, it's there. Right? We kind of understand that now. Right? We understand things like photos of people with it. And how they just seem to persist somewhere. Somebody has it zipped and a torrent. Right? But what if all of your data was there? Not just your news. Right? Not just your bronze league level scores. Because come on, I lie all the time. People actually play LLO? Yeah, man, I'm a plat support. <laughs> I laugh at myself for saying that. I'm like wood level support. I'm too busy watching everybody else, man. Because I just love the mechanics of the sport. So I'm watching the other lanes and I'm like, oh, oops. <laughs> right? So what if that is just diffused everywhere? So data diffusion. We understand what light looks like when it's diffused, right? Like yesterday morning, it was all like foggy and the light just kind of ambient and soft. Not direct like this. Yeah? Diffusion. So what if your data is diffused? Forget about Dropbox. At least I can call Dropbox and figure out what's going on. You'd be like, hey man, where's my data? Well, we have data centers here, 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 and here. Right? So it's striped across the sets. You can, there's still a geographic location to it. But when you have IoT full mesh, pieces of that data are everywhere. Your life is a BitTorrent. Think about that. And it's being seeded constantly. How do you ever say that's not me? Of course it is. No different than you ever catch those little sayings. And, I mean, there's some truth to it, but it's a ridiculous example of something that's like, right now we're breathing the air that Julius Caesar inhaled because of the math involving the particles of oxygen, whatever, right? There's some truth to that, but they're also kind of ridiculous examples. It's not a ridiculous example anymore when we have IoT, right? Because think think out 5, 10, 15, 20 years. We're all going to be alive then, unless something massively bad happens. We'll all be alive, kicking. I'll be in my prime, right? What if I want to, why wouldn't I hook up to my neighbor? And that neighbor, and that neighbor. Why wouldn't I want my little community to be fully IoT mesh? Because if I'm getting the benefits and they're getting the benefits, to me, like 2 plus 2 equals 5 at that point. Because why would I not want my IoT bubble when I go over there? Right? I mean, think, of, think about how paradigm shifting cloud storage is. Right? I don't have to bring these little USB drives around. I can just download it from Dropbox. And I don't have to care anymore what system I'm on, Mac, Windows, Linux, anything that can run that client or, or access the web. <coughs> All right, so 
now abstract out Dropbox. It doesn't exist anymore, so it doesn't need to. Everything is Dropbox, you understand? Everything is Dropbox. So I was teaching 3.11, the web design class yesterday. You know how I started it? This guy was in there. I started by talking about printers. Right? And every printer has memory. Why? Because we like to print huge images, right? But what can you do to that memory? You can manipulate it. You can load so other files and software into it. You can store your security tools in it, right? You can pivot from it. Why do we think that that's not an IoT device? It is. It is, right? And it's doing all this stuff that we know how to do, which is why you can abuse the shit out of it. <laughs> Right? I mean, the proof is there. So like, this is the example I give about the killer robots. It's ridiculous to me. In the history of mankind, this planet right now, how many times has a robot killed somebody? Anybody know? As far as I know, zero. What's that? No, like, no, real. As far as I know, none, right? Would you guys agree? Any robot. Any robot. Is any robot. Yes, intentional. That's so not an industrial accident. No, no, no. Accidents are accidents. How many times has a robot made the choice to commit homicide? But we're terrified of it. We're terrified of it as a species. Now, check this out. How many times has a human being killed another human being? And we keep still having kids. My friends, it makes no sense. Does it? We have evidence, demonstrable evidence, for a very long time that we'll kill each other for the smallest reasons, and yet we keep propagating. <laughs> well, I, I don't know. It's like when you look at a robot, it was too human to get killed that. Sure, sure. Well, like, think of the movie I, Robot. What a piece of propaganda, right? If you were interested in not having IoT, that's the kind of stuff you would make, right? If you were interested in propagating cyber warfare, you have vested interest in making sure we want to attack China, and China's attacking us, or North Korea, or whatever the flavor of the month is, right? And I'm not saying it's all manufactured. I'm not a conspiracy theorist, but think about that, right? I'm running out of time. So think about the privacy concerns. Um, we talked about pattern life. Denial, forget it. Denial, of denial. Think about that. Because your data, again, here's, I'm going to leave you with this thought. There is no more Dropbox. Everything is Dropbox. Think about that. Any questions? Let me know. I'll be around. If anybody is interested, my parting thoughts, if anybody's interested in researching this stuff, building things, talking about ideas, I'm here on campus at least four days a week. Hit me up. I'm very interested in doing some work on this. So, thank you my friends.